I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. Welcome back everyone, I am the Dungeon Master and this is Dragons of Starfall. Tonight we are rejoining the party after they have been underneath Snake Temple where they encountered a veritable viper's nest of iron cobras and defeated the Temple Guardian, a gargantuan iron cobra with a massive blade for a tail and uh correct me if i'm wrong but you guys actually had taken that thing with you right yes we took the tail yes yeah yeah we got i got the tail with me the tails yes so so now you guys have like a 12 foot blade that you know only iron can like carry uh and it might take some practice to actually wield anything that you would make out of this but badass trophy no matter what i mean even if exactly. that thing just goes on on the wall that's like yeah you you want to know where we got this from so you know um you took the tail you also then went to the yellow priest's stasis chamber that is set up sort of like a, a palatial room and it has all of his old um works his his wondrous items his maps his uh, charts his you know magical studies and not being able to discern for yourselves what was or was not uh an item of interest you guys um pretty much just grabbed a a smorgasbord sampler of all of the different things that you could find from potions to uh little weird stones and crystals to books and scrolls and um as you as you filled up uh, it's a hard thing to do but as you as you started filling up the bag of holding you know, you decided that if if there was anything to to be had in this room, like, you know, surely the gods have smiled on you a little bit and you now have it. So you <laughs> you took your your leave uh of Snake Temple and, and freeing three Carpathian women who had been imprisoned and tried to be used to awaken the yellow priest. You have taken them back with you now to the city of Al-Qadim, 
where you have purchased passage on uh, sailing vessels in order to get them around to Carpathia. It's a voyage of many, you know, days and weeks on the sea, but it, it will be far more comfortable than the cells that they were in, and they may yet see home. Uh, you know, you guys had some interesting ideas about, you know, what's going to happen when they get home as far as, you know, what if their families were involved in all of this, kind of like how Angelica's were. And certainly those are, you know, matters of concern, but uh, not necessarily yours. You know, you, you may find out what happens to them or they may just be more... Um, victims of of the world and you know it's it's just uh the nature of this medieval very dark society where uh they're just now starting to come around to another age of enlightenment where people are trading with each other again it, it wasn't you know a hundred hundred and fifty years ago that even just showing up into another country would be enough to get you, you know, killed most of the times. There, there just wasn't the openness that you see in a more modern society. And so, um, you know, even though, yes, people are more enlightened now, whatever ends up happening to these uh, noble women they've already lived a better life than 99% of everybody anyway. So, you know, screw them too on a certain level. Yeah, we did our best. Out of sight, out of mind at that point, right? Right. Yeah, no, we... They're, they're, they're on their own. Yeah. <laughs> We're definitely uh, taking paid more steps for... than any normal person would. You, you guys know? even paid yeah. for their passage and everything. Like, they got food and yep. clothing. Yeah. And, yeah. I mean, you guys, you guys are heroes. So, let's... Let's not worry about them unless it becomes a part of the story and just end this one with you guys being heroes. <laughs> and yeah, I, I like those little wins, you know? Little wins. You got you to gotta let them add up, you know? Uh, and so now, relieved of your burden of heroism and making sure that these noble women are accounted for, you're free to go back to your rooms. And I believe we had done a little something with the professor, but as Electo goes off to study, there's certainly a lot of time at the Arcane College to be had as well. So here's kind of some downtime for you guys to explore the city of Alquadim or look for something specific if you had some ideas of you know exactly what you wanted to do but Alquadim is a huge city so just because you saw what the markets had to offer you know days ago like that shit changes all the time there's always a new ship pulling into the ports and docks and unloading wares from all around Tank and Earth. Exciting. Um, I we I think we need a long rest though, because I still have spell slots that are used up. Oh well, if you guys want to just go home and and power nap, like yeah, absolutely. Well, I, I assume rather travel home, we would have taken a rest at some point too. Um, anyway. Well, um, I don't. Not a, I'm sorry. It's not a full day travel, I believe. It, so you oh, guys okay. could have could have either gone straight back to Alquadim and then rested, or you could have rested on the road if you want. Um, you know. No, no, oh, that's fine. I mean, I thought we. I thought it was more than a day's travel there. Anyway, um, I don't honestly remember anything about what the professor said about anything. I maybe I, did you guys do that after you got back last week, or was it? No, um, we didn't. We didn't really get to do much with the professor when we left off. Um, yeah, no, it was just a quick. I had asked, you know, does anybody have any specific questions that they wanted to well, ask like, him right now? I, I, I yeah, I 
Yes, I didn't. Kind of uh, because I want to know about because we found a, a map and um, any of the items. Like, can he identify any of the items in the bag, or did he not? Did he just ignore or not try? Or yeah, so you know, for for the items in the bag, uh, he he basically offers you uh, gold for for some of them, claiming that they're uh, assorted wondrous items you know etc you know like this is a ever filling quill you know um just like stuff like that and and um he offers to purchase some of the more interesting ones off of you um but otherwise you know it is pretty evasive about uh any of the spell books and when he sees uh the map um roll for insight yeah. hey look at that that's a, oh that's a 20 k okay roll oh, nice <laughs> <laughs> i mean it, it'd be better if you had some bonuses to go with that of yeah. course but uh still you know a natural 20 is a natural 20 and so as you 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 know, unroll the map and and show the the place marked Riley. It um, looks as though he's he's narrowing his eyes, and uh, like studying it. But when you ask him about it, he's very, you know. I have I have no idea. I've I've never seen anything like this. And and he tries to play it off like mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. like he's like he's uh completely ignorant of it, but like you you can see like there's there's a a level of interest like if you've never seen the Super Bowl, you're not going to look at the Lombardi trophy like it's anything, but if you know what, what it is, uh, you know, you can see somebody look at it that knows what it is. Okay. So he obviously does recognize it, but mm-hmm. is, is okay. So I'm not, I'm against selling him any of the items then, because I'm not entirely sure what his deal is. Uh, and so like he, like it's the wondrous quill or whatever. Is it actually that thing? Or is he just saying that? Because I could identify it. Yeah, I don't think he's trying to cheat us out of anything. I, I just think um, he doesn't really think anything's important that we brought, unfortunately, besides the map. The map he kind of looked at with, uh, you know. Yeah, no, it, well, really, but I'm it saying, really like, is an ever-filling quill, yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, I just want to clarify. And, and the, and the, I mean, and we the didn't other really edit. Okay, so they are a um, uh, spattering of of sort of interesting uh, RP magic items, but not anything of use, really. Not, nothing if, that's going to be we combat a... useful, right. Yeah. Okay. Um, say we should give Electo the pen, since he's, he's got to write shit. But, um, <laughs> totally. Anyway, but, uh, so go ahead. So I was just going to say, we maybe let's not harp on, on the map. Let's let Electo kind of uh, you know, schmooze yeah. a little bit. After during so, training and stuff. Wait, did you just say you can identify it though? Do you identify the the quill? Yeah, I mean, like, I just want to know that. Oh yeah, he totally lied to you. It. It's it's an ever it's an ever filling quill, but it has a dual purpose. The <laughs> the the pen when you hold it creates two identical pens that you can write everything in triplicate. Huh. Oh, the so printing that, press. <laughs> yeah. He, so he's. Just, so we, we, we found Thomas Jefferson's pen. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's really okay, badass, well, you know? It's nice. Yeah. Uh, since he lied, I, um, I'm i reticent on everything he's told us then, and so I'm well, going he just to... Well, he just tried to, like, cheat you out of it, like, Pawn Star style, you know? Yeah. Well, but still, the, the point is that he's being dishonest with us, and I'm untrusting of what he's get, telling us, so I'm going to gather up our it's items. Like Yoda, and, man. He's uh, just being a pain in the ass. He yeah, is an old quirky dude. To... Yeah. But well, well no, you're right. Save the world, theoretically. So. He's kind of... Let, well, remember, he's kind of absent. 
he doesn't really care about yeah. this place. He's well, I, I, we know a little bit more out of character than we do in character, but um, okay. Well, anyway, absent. yeah. So, so my other thought was, so we don't recognize the map, right? Like we can't I tie the map to anything we know, right? That well, was, it kind of looks like that? one of the coasts of Tenkenarth on part of it, but it's like the Peter Reese map where it's like really hard to tell. Hmm. Okay, so. When we get back to the, uh, because we have the globe, mm -hmm. we can work on it like that when we get back to the room. But for mm -hmm. now, so I'll just gather up our things, thank them, and I'm open to whatever you guys want to do uh, next. We can try and find other leads in the university. Um, we can go wander the city. Whatever you guys want to do, I'm up for it. So I, I think now would be a good time to do downtime, to, like to figure out... Um... Like we like what the DM said. If your character wants to do anything other than the story, if you're looking for a specific item or uh, information, we can do that. But I think we're in the process of having to teach Electo first of all how to teleport interplanar or how to do interplanar teleportation, right? Because mm -hmm. um, even I mean, I we could during the downtime try to figure out where the map is pointing to. Um, we like you said by cross referencing the globe, but it it's probably way different. Um, so we can try that during downtime, but I think we just got to let Electo schmooze the professor what, what learn. Kind of bit, anyways, like what is it? It should be so, early day, early morning. Yeah, morning, right? Since the temple's yeah. open at night. So what I'm assuming is okay. what happened is we went home, uh, nighttime, slept, woke up in the morning, went to the professor. Electo's gonna start his training. We're gonna go away. Sure, sounds good. Uh, um. Do we want to... I'm, okay, so what do you guys want to do? Um, I guess Angelica... Uh, I don't know what she'd want to do. I'm I'm unsure of how, what she would think about. So I'm open to ideas. Okay. Well, I don't think uh, Robert, Robert's going to miss a chance to actually relax, because, I mean, we don't get these chances very often when we're not. No. So he's just going to try to blend in and kick up his feet, take it easy here. Yeah, I can kill time. Well, we're in the location with the most, with the, probably the largest library that I've ever seen. Correct? So, oh, for um, sure. Yeah. So I, I want to learn more about the Nephilim, and I want to go try to figure out on what the fuck is going on with my ancestry, supposedly. Um, I, I think I will go with um, Arn and go to try and read about the cult of the Yellow Priest and Orange Priest. Orange priest, yellow, yellow, priest. yellow. a yellow. priest, yellow. You had it right, yellow. yellow. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then uh, anything about like my state as a tiefling, like if, have there been any tieflings like me before that are non-state, like are weird or far realm? Anything about the far realm? Anything that would help insight into what is going on or where Drago might be? Anything of value to that? I think that would fill her fancy for a little while. <laughs> Okay. So, yeah, I'm gonna hang around the dusty part of the library looking for uh, lesser known information about Nephilim. Okay, uh, so you're I'm going just gonna to be back up. I'm just gonna hang out, watch your guys' backs, just in case. You can oh hang yeah, up. and by the way, the library here, Robert, is so fancy that even just uh, chilling by one of the many fountains. There's uh, like cabana boys that come and bring you fruity drinks and snacks on trays. Just being uh, guests of the college. Yeah, just just <laughs> from just from hanging out. Yeah, that's man. pretty cool. Yeah. Like I said, we'll soak it up while we can. Yeah. yeah this, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna this place has those money. Books. Like we're talking gold plated fountains and and stuff like that. So. You guys will have to roll investigation for trying to find stuff in the books. Can we assist each other? Like, first, can I assist Angelica yeah. and then she can assist me? Well, here's the thing. The more time you spend assisting, that's the less time that you're spending looking for your stuff. So it is absolutely possible 
to be like, hey, while I'm looking for this, I will also be keeping my eye open for anything that, you know, would relate to what you're looking for. But if you want it to rise to the level of like an assist role where they would have advantage, then that means that you're going to be, you know, taking significant time. And so I'm going to need who you're doing first so that we can like determine, you know, how much time. Yeah, I don't mind taking time because, I mean, Electo has, I mean, he's going to be in fucking training, like like the montage that we yeah. did. Yeah. Last time. Yes. So. Okay, we're we're not in a rush. Well, you will, how about we start with yours today? I'll help you first. Okay, I think that might help us a little bit because the angel and I, I know I don't bring this up often, but the angel told me that I was not, I cannot die yet. I know this is weird, but I cannot die yet because uh, I have to fulfill a purpose, and I they did not tell me anything besides that, uh, okay. which is annoying. So I want to figure out what the fuck is going on with my ancestry. Oh, oh. I did not help, <laughs> I didn't help you at all. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if Jeez. you didn't if you didn't have such a high plus to your investigation yeah. I'd, I'd almost apply disadvantage because you like let him on a wild yeah. goose chase looking at something yeah. that actually didn't mean anything at the end of the day i thought oh yeah. nephilim i thought you said nephilim sorry yeah that's a made-up word <laughs> yeah i don't know okay <laughs> investigation here we go yes fuck it here we go Ooh, not bad. Even with the minus one. 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so a hard skill to pick. You are actually able to find something. Sweet. But the information is very, um, like, the Bible mentions the Nephilim, but it doesn't really say much mm -hmm. other than that it was yeah. the children of angels and men and that they grew yeah. to enormous size. Mm -hmm. and, that, and that's really all the information in the world on Nephilim, you know, at, at least. Really unknown then. Yeah. Right. You know, and and so in this particular instance, what it talks about is that the Nephilim were angels bonded with humans and that their power together was able to equal the gods and the gods like no likey challenge power and mm -hmm. and so it just tells this like whole tale you know it, it's a long read to to get to god's good going against god's bad so essentially, the Nephilim were against the gods, is what it's saying, or or kind of like kind of bastardization of God because they created life like this, like yeah. So like they didn't go against the gods; the gods went against them, but they were able to equal their power. So kind of like kind of like demigod territory where it's like they were strong enough to fight a god together. Yes. Okay. Well, that's good for me. That means I'm pretty strong. <laughs> Good news, guys. I'm in charge. Well, unfortunately. Of, like, yes, everything. <laughs> unfortunately, I am. For us, it's... <laughs> but Hell, yeah, I could have told you that. You didn't <laughs> need no book to tell you you were special. Yeah, I don't like the attention. So, I, 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 I'll, I'll read it. Um, take mental notes. How, how, did, how, did, how does checking books out work here? Can you check books out, or, or is everything owned by the library here? Um, so what what there are are uh, scribes, um, clerics mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. who copy books all day long, mm -hmm. and that's all they do is copy books all day long. Now, unfortunately, there's just like too many books. Fortunately, they have fucking magic. <laughs> so uh, basically. The way it works is you don't check a book out because, like, this is a society where, like, what the fuck? You're you're going to be, like, gone. Yeah. You know. You're not checking it out. You're taking it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. So you can buy a book. But, one, the book has to have already been copied. So they, they, have, to, they have to have the master copy and you, you buy a copy of it. And, uh, two... The price goes up or down dramatically, 
depending on like so um their version of like plato's republic you know has like a thousand copies because they have 10 dudes working on it like Mm -hmm. all the time mass printing it yeah okay well how much would it cost to get a a copy made out of this book i i just want to get a a copy for myself i can i can go up to somebody and say i'm a i'm a uh so oh oh, i'm sorry go ahead say before okay go get the price but i want to talk to the dude before we sell do you do the transaction okay so first there's a a chance that this book has not even been copied yet. That's how rare this book is. That's fine. I'm all right with that. So I'm going to be nice and say that there is a 70% chance that there's a copy of this book. And that's a really high percentage for how rare this book really is in this world. But I mean, you know, I don't want to force your hand into like <laughs> having to do something here, you know. Mm-hmm. So like I'm just being real with you about how rare this book is. Really it should be more like there's only like a ten percent chance that yeah. there's a copy of it's it. It's obscure knowledge, right? Like nobody really cares. Super obscure knowledge. This is yeah. like pre dawn of man type stuff. Yeah, totally. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so do you want me to roll a D one hundred? Uh, would you like to roll your D100? I just picked up my D100, but if you would like to roll them, by all means, sir. I, I want you to roll it, I think. Okay, so when I am rolling for something like this, I am not against you. So I want the same as you. 30% okay. or higher. All right, above a 30 then. Let's go. Hey! hey oh. See, even if I had made it as rare as what I wanted to, you would have made it. That's it how, out. Yeah, that's how much the story wants to go the way you know it needs yeah. to go. But that's fate, man. But like, what's the point if we don't roll some dice? Like, I can just that's a part of the say game. Whatever, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh-huh. It's part of the game. What the fuck do we have dice for? Yeah, that's why this game is fun and super fucking annoying sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, if if I just sat here and said, oh, and then everybody lives ha- happily ever after, we could <laughs> yeah. wrap the shit up And then up this happens, yeah. and then this happens, like, no dice. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. So okay. That's called a book. You you read us a book. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I hope you liked your bedtime story. <laughs> so, anyway, now let's, let's go talk price. So... so- Oh, I can I can repeat it. I could show I could show him the copy, and I say, um, I see you guys have a, a extra copy of this book. I am a religious scholar. I know I may not look it, but I we travel around the world looking for mm, texts like this. Uh, how much does this copy cost? Oh, and they like go and they get out this big, huge binder that has like all of these color coded tabs. Um, you know, like on the side of the book, how the pages actually like turn color and everything on the sides. Mm-hmm. They they like flip to different chapters and they're looking through it and they're, oh, 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 they're consulting each other and they're speaking alquidemies to each other, which only Electa would understand. But he's off with the professor right now anyway. So, uh, oh wait, did Lady Angelica pick up alquidemies? No, no, you just you just can like read people's thoughts if you really. Yeah, Yeah. I can slip around it. At least know if they're being honest with us. I could keep an eye on whether they're. I probably wouldn't since they're thinking in alchemy sees. I probably wouldn't know what they're thinking, but I could understand their mood or right emotional state, face emotions. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, um, you know, they're they're speaking to each other, blah 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 blah, and they come back to you. With a price of twenty seven hundred gold pieces. Twenty seven hundred. Um, before, so when they say that, uh, Lady Angelica would have brought her mom because she needs someone to speak for her. Uh, her mom will step forward and say, uh. We were hoping that maybe we could help us out a little bit. And while they're doing that, Angelica is going to take out uh, three pieces of paper and that pen and start copying down the book. And so it's reappearing on the three pages. 
Yeah. Like it's, and uh, we've recently come into an item that may be of some use to your gentlemen in your scholarly pursuits. Um, would you be willing to? This is such a rare tome. I doubt anyone's. It's in high demand. Um, and we're we and with this, you could triple your profits for the for the library and your good works. Uh, and also potentially maybe you could help us look for. Uh, we are guests in the city, and we are searching for more information on the Nephilim and on the Far Realm, potentially, if you could help us. Maybe one of your scholars could help us go through the stacks and look for books to roll, speed our process. Roll, roll an insight. And we did say that we were religious scholars, so maybe they could help us a bit. We have an alibi, you know? Yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. No, I... I, I and you you appear more uh, holy than you would think. Just like you give off this this aura now that you have an angel residing in you full time. <laughs> yeah. Um, is it insight or persuasion? Since I'm trying to convince him. Uh, well, no, no. Uh, in insight for uh, something. You said far realm, so. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay. You can at least feel if they get kind of shaken, though, right? In your yeah, yeah, I would, so no. no. One one guy, like he's he's like doing the the total like cartoon, like eyes bugging out of his head, and and like he he just like starts arguing in Alcademies with the other guy, and the other guy's like trying to be like, hey, just you know, be cool, and uh, he he's like, okay, so uh, the item that you want to you know trade here is worth more than the book so um like we would have to we would have to pay you the difference or help you with another book anyway but uh uh you're you're talking about like forbidden knowledge and if the shah were to catch you or us or anyone with books like that uh they they would take our our eyes from our head. Well, we understand, and I will tell you that we have we can be most discreet in carrying out. Uh, we will taking this information safely out of the city. Once we have it, no one will see. It, well, no one will see us using this book inside the city. We will keep it well hidden until we are safely outside the gates, outside the walls of the city, and. Uh, Oh no! This book we're, you can have. Yeah. Well, the no, other stuff. About the, the other, the, the other stuff that you're afraid oh, sir, of. Sir, please no. Um, sir, no, please no. We cannot discuss this. No. May uh, I interject, ma'am, ma ma'am, uh, ma please. <laughs> ma <laughs> no. This the, is for the pursuit of knowledge. I, I, I'm sorry. I, 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 I wish. I you. wish to keep my ears. No, uh, I understand. I understand. Thank you. Um, but we will be searching for another book. Uh. Anyways, um, so you can keep the pen. I will take this book, and you, you can pass the difference then. Yeah. Okay. And he busts out twenty three hundred gold pieces. Thank you. You could take that, Angelica. Okay. So out of character, we're in far realm knowledge. It's like talking about. It's talking about crazy shit. Well, it's um, it's like talking about Satan and hell and all mm -hmm. of that, you know, during the the witch trials. Like you just didn't do it. But why is it? Why is everybody so afraid? You know what I mean? Like, there's all this stuff going on, and it, it's like, why is the information being suppressed? You you understand what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. Like like like, why are they so anti sharing yeah. anything about it? Yeah, I hear you. Because I mean, if it's trying to kill you, you want to get some help, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, but so, it, would, wouldn't it just be history instead of being like forbidden knowledge? I mean, something, something happened to where people wanted to hide this stuff. Obviously, because it's bad juju, right? Yeah, but it's bad juju. You, I don't know. You're supposed to look. I don't know. You're supposed to learn from your past, right? So that's kind of the idea that I was getting from here is going yeah, through I these these tomes and trying to figure out what the hell happened. Maybe the mind yeah. flayers well, just uh, bury that information. Well, I mean, 
So we have the. How much did we get out of it? I'll just add it to the inventory. Twenty three hundred. And, and a book on Nephilim. Yeah, the Nephilim was just for me. I, I'm just going to start compiling information. My own character shit. So. Thank you. Even though it costs twenty seven hundred gold, I'm sorry. That's just fun. Seventeen hundred. Yeah, it's a good. it's it's a really really nice book. And maybe maybe there's other stuff in their value. Who knows? Anyway, uh, so we will then. What time of day is it? Mm, one or two. Yeah, I would say so, afternoon. Yeah. So we can do our search, my search, then, and then uh, go out for dinner or something, and have an evening out. So you yeah, are I... searching all through the library. Might as well. Yeah, as I'm gonna you roll. get to one of the dark corners of the library, you hear you <laughs> and Jalka will re- approach with her mom and give a, a polite, uh, like a nod and whisper, yes. A tall freckled man wearing a dark red tunic and robes and uh, floating on a small personal flying carpet holds a staff in one hand and a book floats above the other and he whispers to you you wish knowledge of Forbidden places. Yes. We have. And you are willing to pay for this knowledge. Absolutely. And how much are you willing to pay for this knowledge? Offer our labor or skills or something. Um, Good old telepathic link. (laughs) <laughs> yep, as I say, um, well, we have gold, and we can also, or if you would prefer, we would owe you a favor, and we can perf- perform a task for you. Our friends, my friends are great adventurers and fighters. This is good, because it is not your gold that I seek. <laughs> I can offer you knowledge. But as you know, everything comes at a price. The price to access this knowledge is the blood of the innocent. Oh, don't tell me about this, Angelica, that's for sure. No. Uh, what, what do you have in mind? Well, I don't particularly care who you choose but you find someone innocent that can be sacrificed and I can open a book that will give you information that you seek Uh, um <laughs> You're bubble to the rock and hard place, Angelica. No, so, so, no, so play your saying, character. No, right? yeah, no, that's closer to Arn. I, that's what I'm trying to do. Arn, like, is if we're preparing, because well, well, we're, we're not hearing this. Remember, it's just yeah, that it's, uh, yeah, yeah, just I, I would have to share it back to you guys. Uh, so, I would say, allow me to allow me to think on it and to uh, see what I can do. Perhaps you are not ready to possess this knowledge after all. And you see, like, fog begin to form underneath his carpet. Hey, if Angelica, so before he disappears, if Angelica goes out and, like, hunts stuff, this wouldn't be too far out of her morality, right? And if it's too, like, to further the cause of what we're doing, would she be morally ambiguous enough to just go, like, kill a child? No, I will. I'm not doing that, so okay. that's that's I won't role play that or brief. Yeah, me neither. That, so, um, well, innocent could be you. I mean, it doesn't have to go that far. Yeah, no, it's it will it would not be a child. I'm not going to do that. So, um, I think okay. It so, could be just your blood. Why don't you could just try your blood? But yeah, if it yeah, 
I don't know. <laughs> so, um, well, it's a sacrifice. I'm assuming it means more than a little blood. Um, well, I will he say said, um, he said sacrifice, but y- you guys don't know. Perhaps the ritual does yeah. only call for a small amount. And also, I am very glad that you would not just go and sacrifice a child because that would have led to you guys getting arrested, like just for even trying. So yeah, no, we're not doing that. Yeah, um, no, we're not. <laughs> yeah. So I had, uh, I just, I thought of people in our group. I was like, okay, which of us, uh, maybe Angelica's mother at the most. I didn't think that mm-hmm. far beyond that. Yeah. I don't I've, think I've she's killed, innocent though. I've killed much too many men to be innocent. Oh, yeah. that, yeah, that's a good point. Um, no, I don't think any of us would pass that pass muster on innocent. Um, but so I will say, um, I need this information. When do when do you need this box? Uh, the blood is part of the ritual to open the book. Okay. Um, Just lie. Is this is this? And we'll a, grab them somewhere when we're outside of. Well, it, but is this a? Uh, like, do you just need the blood, or is it a sacrifice? Every time we do it, we just, like, straight up kill one of our cultists. Well, give us a place to meet, and we will be in touch. Or give us a way to get in touch with you, and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Meet me by the temple of, uh, oh, what's his name, Zahir? The dark god of knowledge? Um, meet me by the temple at midnight. Maybe we could buy a lamb or something. Okay. Um, that counts. So I, well, I'll nod and I assume he sort of goes away then. Yeah. Yeah. The fog completely like surrounds him and then he's gone. Well, to be fair, Arn, I think uh, from what if Lady Angelica tells us what happened, I think we should just go stomp on him. <laughs> I think we just bullshit and lie, and then we'll beat the crap out no, of him. No, we're still. not. We're not police. Arn's going to say we're we're not police. We don't. We no, deal I mean with criminals. We're well. There's, I mean, it's not that simple either, because theoretically, that book doesn't open without a ritual that we don't know. So mm-hmm. even if we could kill him and his cultists, all it would do is seal the book completely. Yeah, we won't even know how to open it. And, and we, man, he, if he knows about the far realm, we might have to figure out what we can satisfy the ritual with. Hey, when it comes to bad people like him, I'm willing to take the long shot. I say we just slaughter him and let his blood open the fucking book for us. Well, Robert, let's, let's take a mo- Let's think about this for a moment. Okay. Yeah. We, um, we can't- so I assume there's not much point in me looking in the library then if that's happened, that there's the investigation is pretty pointless. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. And I'd want um, to get out of here now that people saw us. Yeah, no. Well, I assume no one saw us. I assume he picked his place very carefully. Yeah, yeah. He had mm-hmm. a dark corner all all picked out for this. So let's let's leave. And we we can talk about it. We'll go outside and we'll speak psychically about what to do or what we can all what we could potentially offer. Um Like Angelica is very torn. So like, I would say that she's very sort of, you know, pale looking and and, like, it's a moral conundrum that, um, obviously it's of the utmost important to her to get information like this and potentially a great number of lives are at risk. Mm -hmm. But the idea of sacrificing somebody is, is hard to palate, um, hard to yeah. swallow. It's abhorrent. Yeah. No, I'm not. I mean, he should die. I'm not arguing that. I just saying we, I, I would, if we were able to open the book, I would still try it. Once it was open, I would still try and kill him. Um, cheese and murder hobos. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we're no, guys, I mean, right? yeah, he's, he's clearly very evil. Um, <laughs> he's the most evil person we've met in a while. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, straight up ran into. Arguably, the the cultists we just killed were worse since they were throwing women to a giant. Yeah, to a snake, iron snake. snake. <laughs> yeah. Well, Mecha but snake. he said he's he's sacrificing his own cult. Like they're Which, sacrificing themselves. 
which honestly to me seems like a great solution then. Yeah, then, <laughs> but eventually they'll grow tired of it and they'll go looking for other people. Yeah, no, I mean, that's true. If he needs to open that book. We should um, show up, see if he can sacrifice a cultist. We'll be like, hey, like, you know, it's on you, but um, in an exchange, if you really, if you don't, since we didn't provide you with innocence, we would also owe him a favor for telling us the information. Their definition of innocent must also be a little bit loose if their cultists qualify. Yeah, that's what I, I don't know what that doing. means. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I mean, if their cultists qualify, then it can't be, it could be as vague as like virgin. Mm-hmm. Um, or just somebody who's never killed anything, just a regular dude, you know? Well, again, uh, yeah, theoretically. Well, the- Electo wasn't there when we were in the library. So yeah, I no. say we just, Electo could just disguise himself as our victim, and we'll go, here's your victim, and the minute we get what we want, we. Yeah, I mean, that's I'm I'm not against trying that where we we bring Electo, um, we see what the the ritual is, and if he, I mean, he said sacrifice the person, but maybe it's not. I don't know. Um, so def- so I I think he says he wants blood, right? Yeah. So I think we I think we should we need that information, otherwise. We're not doing anything. So let's, let's, I think Electo, well, of course we're taking Electo, but what I would, what I would try to do is offer myself to it first to, to offer some blood. Um, I would even uh, take whatever disadvantage comes to me from doing this task. Um, so I don't well, mind sacrificing myself for the ritual, but if it's not just a little bit of blood, when we get there, we'll tell them to just kill one of your cultists. Um, what if the book does something to you, though? What if it gets inside you or in your Yeah, head? I know. It's pretty dumb. I, let me let me think if I can... Because I feel like, like paladins the- have spells where you, they can contact the divine, right? I gotta talk to the higher-ups. Well, remember, you're only gonna get to talk to the angels right now. Because the gods are absent for some yeah, reason. Yeah, they're yeah. sealed away. Yeah, it was a part of the ritual to seal the other option. Away. I mean, yeah. we have another option. Is I don't know if you're we if you have revivify or something like that. Like <laughs> I do have revivify. Yeah, the person dies and we just bring them right back. So I can try that. Um. Okay, um, yeah, I, don't, I have no idea what your sword would do to the book. Um, but yeah, I mean, the four of us go. Yeah, sorry. Okay, I'm just here's, to make here's what I fucking think. I mean, so the, the way, if I'm trying to think about it like that, I think the person Angelica would pick would be her mother. Really? That this, that to her would be, if they would accept that, a morally, her mother, like, she's lied to her, she's been evasive, something's, she's not being honest about something. It's almost like she wants the other side to win, like she doesn't want to help you. Yeah, I, yeah, she doesn't yeah. seem interested in helping, I don't. She did create you the key, so it, she's yeah, kind of it's, yeah. The whole situation is weird, and I don't like it, and so, if the four of us go. Oh, bring my, bring your mom. Offer that, and then I can't believe we're offering your mom. Though, would we do that again? Like, I think if I said, like, listen, she's done these things, and like, she's not honest with us about this. I don't, yeah, I mean, no, it's not. It's not a great solution because then I also can't talk when she's dead. So that's not <laughs> awesome either. We can talk, um, you, I guess. You know, yeah, but it's not a very good way to do it. Mm-hmm. Um, True. I don't also want to have a sit here and fucking analysis process exactly uh, can, can we how much does a lamb cost it's a sheep a little baby sheep uh like a gold piece or something like that stop by the market buy a nice fat one just carry it, it around with it me. can't be much 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Here's okay. a, so here, I have a question. This is a, uh, a rule book question. So I could polymorph a person into a sheep. Can I polymorph a sheep into a person? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a really, really dumb one. Yeah, no, 100% fine with that. We're buying a sheep. Wow, it might work. Yeah. I don't mind slaughtering sheep, bro. That's what they're for. Because, like, remember, yeah. your stats don't really change. Just your, nope. you know. Your skills, whatever. So it can be a very weird, dumb, confused sheep. And, <laughs> and truthfully, I don't feel good about it. Getting, and, if it get, and honestly, if they kill it, it doesn't die. It just turns back into a sheep. Yeah. It won't be so, like, what yeah. the heck? No. <laughs> That guy was a faulty, try a faulty person. <laughs> what the hell, sheep man? <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're gonna let's go buy a sheep. We will use, we will use polymorph to slip it over, and then we'll, we'll yeah, I mean, see what happens put a, and put and a hood over its dice. head. Yeah, put a hood yeah. over its head and just, yeah. yeah, put a bag. Yeah, we'll put a bag yeah. over it, tie it up, and squirming. We'll be like, we're sorry, pretend like we're fucked up, you know. Yeah. Um. So, and if it doesn't work for whatever reason, they get mad. Yeah. We're we're strong as hell. Yeah, we'll fucking <laughs> fucking go after him then. I, I hope it doesn't have to come to that, but uh, it's yeah. definitely yeah, us. You, you really sound mentality. like you hope it doesn't come to that. No, it, yeah, I don't hope it comes to that, but you know, when you only tools a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Yeah. yeah. So let's go get us ourselves a sheep, and uh, we will use polymorph that night, and let's let Electo know that we're going to need him for the night, hopefully, and. Uh, We'll we'll roll like that. Should we cut to some electo training? Figure out what's happening. Uh, well, sense? yeah, electo got a, a another day of training in, you know, so that was a good thing and gets him one step closer to being able to do all that teleporty zoom zoom stuff. Does he get any closer to his professor while he's there? Because we're hoping that Electo squeezes some information out of him. Yeah. Like, so, uh, when, when you're meeting with your professor, Electo, um, you, you notice that he seems very distracted. Okay. Um, I would mention it. I would say um, your mind seems like it's elsewhere. Um, is there something something occupying your thoughts? He he insists that everything's fine and that uh, you're not paying attention to your spell casting. Can I roll insight? Oh, we should well, tell. Uh, well, I, Carrie... I, 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 you, you, you know that like he's he's lying, like that he's distracted. So, uh, I guess maybe more to kind of get a sense of like if I have a sense of what he might be being distracted about. So we we, we didn't tell her about the map because she wasn't here in the beginning. So, um, we showed him a map, the map that we found in the bottom of the basement. Um, and when he saw it, he. Uh, reflexively kind of like was surprised um but he insisted that he knew nothing of it that we should just stop asking questions so i imagine his mind is on that and he doesn't want you to ask anything about it so now that you're caught up maybe you can understand what's going on a little bit ah yes thank you okay um uh yeah okay so he insists everything's fine um I will leave it alone for the moment and then maybe like half an hour later, hour later, something like that, circle back to the question um, and say, uh, you know, my, my companions are very concerned about the map that we showed you. Um, I understand that you may not trust them. You don't know them very well, but... Um, now that we're in private, I wonder if there's anything, any way that you could help us, help me. Uh, you can roll for persuasion. Okie dokie.
Uh, he he says that he doesn't know anything about the map and can't help you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I think Electo would know better than to try to be super pushy or anything like that. There's very much kind of a respect thing going on here with um, his professor, so he'll kind of just hold that in his mind um, and continue to observe any like weird behavior and kind of make note of that, but he's not going to continue to press him. Okay. And so your day's training comes to an end, and you guys are all back at the hotel with uh, Arn's shiny new book, and the hour of midnight is closer now than it was before, and uh, Electo, being back amongst the group, can discuss with you guys uh, what's going on. And we got a sheep, right? Oh, yeah, and you bought a sheep. Yeah, it's pooping everywhere. That is currently a very uh, hairy armed uh, human man that keeps drooling on himself and doesn't really know what's going on. Yeah, we found a drunk. <laughs> I like this going to be like, ooh, who's this guy? Yeah. Um, it's my, my mom's new boyfriend. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Understandable. Um, so. <laughs> We'll, we'll, again, psychically lay it out so my mom can't overhear anything. Um, while we were waiting for Electo, I would like to try and look at the map and the globe and see if I can identify any sort of, like, overlap or places that look potentially familiar on the map. Sure. In fact, I'm even going to pull up uh, the the map of the world and show you, like, what you mm -hmm. actually can see and tell. Oh, I just remembered a fucking thing that I thought about during today. Okay, I, I want to put this out there so you guys think about it, too. If we need to figure out how to teleport, shouldn't we go ask the people who teleported an entire fucking, like, island from another plane into this plane, the elves, how to teleport as well, maybe? Right? I don't know. Just, yeah. Yeah. just no, something no. I was thinking about. Because they teleport a whole is... entire fucking island from the Feywild to the material plane. Yeah, that is something. Um, so over by Britonia and Eglia there, you can like kind of see that shape, but then everything south of it, there's like a whole landmass south of it with, uh, one of the islands right in the middle of the burning ocean being labeled as Riley. So somewhere out past the word, the bright sea is this island. No, no, over by the burning ocean to the south there, but like everything else looks different. All the other coasts look way different, but the, okay. but the coast over by the by the bright sea looks kind of familiar. Okay, so then so there was a landmass south between there and somewhere. So where where using kind of as best I can reconnoiter where where would the spot be like below Eglia Carpathia? That's where Riley was. So, oh, so south of like the Black south of, of Diem. No, no, the Black Rock Gulf in that south of that area potentially. Yes. Okay. Wait, did oh. you draw that circle? Who drew that circle? Oh, wait, no, not the Black Rock, way south of the Black Rock Gulf, south and east. Yeah, this black circle here, that's, oh, this, this so, is about where Riley is. Oh, so close to, where we, close to where we are now, but out in the middle of the ocean. And we heard yeah. that it's uber dangerous to go south in the ocean, right? Yes. Yeah. No, it's, oh. it's bad. Yeah, there's a bunch of monsters and stuff. Yeah, and... Um, well, okay, well, that's not awesome. So let's see what the book has to say. Maybe there's another way there. Um, yeah, there might be a, a way or information of how Riley disappeared or... or yeah, something. If it, yeah. Okay, let's, well, uh, at least we know that it's on the material plane. I thought this place, Riley, was somewhere else the whole time. Yeah. Or it's a, a point of contact between the planes, or who knows. Mm, but let's head maybe. to the evil library of the cult, the church of the evil wizard person. And, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty this. sure it's Z here. Uh, Z any. 
Anyway, uh, as you guys approach, roll for perception. All right. And I'm carrying the dude on my shoulder. <laughs> well, he can walk. He's hog tied. I'm so disgusted by the guy that I'm just only looking at him when not looking at anything else. All right, Lady Angelica, you have a choice. All. Ooh, Whoa, 19. Where'd, where'd Arn come from? <laughs> I thought you guys had all rolled already. Uh, I opened my eyes. So, no, 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 19. So, Arn, you spot. And Lady Angelica, uh, you can sense as well that there are multiple people present at this secret meeting, like a dozen people. Okay. People that are not showing themselves to be outward, right? They're like kind of right. hidden. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are we inside or outside? Well, right now you're outside, but they're waiting for you to walk into the courtyard. Um, are they, can I get an idea of if they're stacked up against the wall, like going to jump us or if they're. Before like, we get there, out? can we use the map to zoom in on the building and kind of look inside of the courtyard? Uh, it's, it's just a standard um, like fortress um, so, courtyard. So it's, got, it's got a roof. <laughs> yeah, it's got a roof and, and. There's a, a whole like outer wall gate, but it's open and waiting for you to walk in. All right, Robert, be vigilant. We're heading in. Is it is it is it well lit or is it dark? No, it's dark. That's okay. So, so if it's dark, that might give Richard some. That will help Richard, Robert. I mean, um, well, let's go in. I don't know. Um, Let's yeah, let's walk in with our fucking chin held high, man. Like yep. like we're not we're not afraid of them. We walk yep. in and um I'm just gonna walk down and I'm gonna put the dude in front of wherever like it looks like I'm supposed to place him. Is there like a circle in the courtyard or something? Uh the courtyard just has um a single black tree that is like dead, but it's still solid. It's a, like, it's a decayed tree, yeah. Yeah, like it, but it's completely solid, but it's all black. It's really weird. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna rest the guy against the tree, and I say, um, "Please, I just want to get this over with. I don't want to be here to see this." The man appears in a fog in front of you again, Angelica, uh, and uh, says, "Are you ready?" To pay the price. We've brought yeah, a hide. sacrifice. Yeah. Well, Richard sneaks off. That's good. I mean, just stays out. back out, I don't know, just out of the light. Yeah. And um, 20 feet, 30 feet. What, what's that? Oh, sorry. But, whatever the... No, I, I got I got you. Yeah, you're. Oh, okay. You're... Sorry. Sorry. I I will I will bring the 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 our sacrificial lamb forward and uh, say that I, we've come, haven't we? We've brought the we've brought a sacrifice for your ritual. And with that, the book floating in his uh, hand closes and disappears, and he reaches down into open empty space and pulls out a thick black book with eldritch symbols and a single living eye staring out from the cover and he says then open his throat across the book and it shall be opened um I so i'm it. no i got it okay. uh angelica is gonna, gonna attempt to throw him off his game transform and open his throat with her claws over the book open the sacrificial lamb's throat over the book oh, but she's gonna good. transform at the same time as an attempt to sort of 
startle him a bit. <laughs> sure. That's big dick energy, man. I'm going to tell Arn, just be ready to grab him if if he tries to get away. Roll, roll and intimidate. No, that's a great idea, what you just did. And also, uh, I'll give you a point of inspiration for that. Here, like, we're not to be fucked with, all right? <laughs> you think we're stupid? We're not. Intimidation in this mm. form. Oh, I forgot to give myself a... Or, 19. That doesn't matter. Say Good enough. No, 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 19. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he is thrown aback, but as the pages of the book fly open, suddenly a uh, set of four hands come slamming up out of the ground from the courtyard and mystic fog replaces the outer walls and it's just kind of like you're staring down into an endless void of nothing, Robert, because you were like up against the wall. Oh, shit. Yeah, oh, shit. And so now um, as as uh, you guys are are uh looking around like everything's changed you still have the book in your hands angelica but these guys they're no longer guys they're um um rakshasas uh humanoid cat demons I have to look this up. How do you spell that? R A K S H A S A. You don't want to know, just. Oh, just they're like tiger know. dudes. Yeah, with backwards hands. Oh, Rex Sasha. Okay, uh, when that happens, um, we're in this new place. We did the the book. What uh, the four hands come out and they drag the 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 person that we cut the throat of into the book, and then we teleport here. No, no, no. The dude turns back into a sheep after he dies, but the blood opens the book, and when the book opened, it reacted with Angelica and just like s changed everything into this place. Hmm. And I look at one of the men and I say, um, what is this? How do we learn from this? He's he's really pissed off at you and like he's he's gonna kill you now. <laughs> I wonder why. Because you guys somehow did this. Obviously. Somehow did what? <laughs> You, whatever is this is whatever whatever oh that, maybe i see so he reacts like he doesn't notice what's going like he doesn't recognize what's going on this is new yeah surprise to him as well oh i see okay <laughs> like, i thought this what? was a part of the fucking plan no no yeah. what are what are you guys doing i see this is my intimidation was very good yeah, 28, yeah. yeah. maybe yeah, no fucking submit yeah Maybe. May, it might work. It could work against hey, in our favor. May, maybe. All right. Yeah. So let's get you guys on the map. All right. I'm going to turn off token lock for a moment, but we all know like where certain people have to be. Obviously, Robert, you have to be back against the mist. Angelica, you have to be up with Rakshasa, dude. Yeah. You, I mean, you get it. Yeah. Now, are these all Rak Rakshasas? Yes. Oh, no. That's not good, guys. All right. The main dude is right there in front of... Okay, so I would be probably here. You guys probably wouldn't be where you're standing. Um, well, I have to be up front, so... Yeah, yeah. Robert did lay uh, back against the wall. I to be up front. Robert's back there, and then so it's just, you know, Electo and Iron, wherever. So yeah, let's like try to You're, you're almost team. falling off into the void. Not quite <laughs> that, that much, though. Yeah, there, there you go. <laughs> so, out of character, let's, let's try to de-escalate things before we fight them to the death because what if we can't get out of here Let, let's let's try to figure out how we Actually, can I didn't, I didn't realize it was that many so I yeah. don't think it's worth it I think it's better just to hit them hard and we'll try to take them down well they're um, I don't know I don't want to metagame but I know I, I know these creatures are pretty strong so 
All right, so okay. everybody roll initiative. Maybe Lady Angelica will uh, have got something since she's holding this book. Maybe she, she'll get a boost of power here. All right, let's see initiative. Ah, oh, not good. I wanted to go first. Damn it. You, you kind of are going first if you look at it in the second round. <laughs> yeah, like Sunday is the start of the week. Yeah. All right, Lady Angelica. What do you do? Oh, by the way, the Rakshasa is shooken and you have advantage on any attacks you make against him this round. Um, they must think this is a trap because you turned into a. Yeah, that's creature. what I'm thinking. Is um, so well, you did what you intended. It just went a little over <laughs> too <Yeah>. much. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, I'm gonna just go for trying to scare the shit out of him. Um. Angelica is gonna bellow and like spread her wings and and fly up about ten feet, um, and shout, um, "Fools! I am the far realm. Sur submit to me and survive. Otherwise, face destruction." Um, and to drive the point home, I'm going to. Because I'm ten feet up, so I'm and I'm right in front of him. Um, I'm going to pry and not do that. Do this. Snap the whip arm thing off my arm around his neck, and again, in hopes of scaring the shit out of everybody else. I have advantage, you said. Yes. On an attack. And I didn't target him. That hits. Okay. Uh, and I can I like use it to wrap around and like hold him? Uh, if you don't do damage, you can use it to start a grapple. Yeah, uh, I'll grapple. Like I want to grapple his neck, basically, and like <laughs> again, I'm not hurting him, but I've got him in a position that's pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess that's my turn. At the bottom of your sheet is grapple. Yeah. You just have to have to double click on that. Boom! You grappled him. Oh, he got a one. He fucking pissed his pants, dude. Yeah. All right. Hey. One of maybe these guys stand down. I don't know. One of the four armed Rakshasas comes running forward and tries to attack your whip and cut his boss free. But really, he's just attacking you. All right, so I get. I failed to intimidate them at all. No, no, you intimidated the shit out of the Rakshasa. But the the rest of them are uh, brave. Or stupid. Okay. No, that, that trait, brave. <laughs> yeah, that trait everybody likes. No, I, I know what you mean. Miss. Wow. Come on, really. Wow. All right, so that's my three attacks. Sweet. Okay. Drop the so I was... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. I was going to say, because I was going to hold... Um, a spell in case they started attacking, but they are already attacking. 
So I'm kind of close to this hand. I'm just going to kind of stand up a little bit. And let me see. Okay, cool. I am going to cast Cone of Cold. I've got kind of like a row of dudes that I can target. Good, show me. Uh, okay. You know how to do the cone, right? I do not. I always forget. So, it's 60 feet. You could get like all of these guys or the main dude and those guys and all of them. If you get the ones on the right, even if you had to move a bit, that would allow Arn and I to go up and smash that side. Like we could block off the right. Is that a 60 foot cone that I just drew? Yes. So if I like to, if you stand right there, you get everybody but two people. Or even, hold up. Step down one so that I can get. Well, how do you turn this? I don't know how to rotate this. Oh, there you go. I figured it out. So watch. If you stand. Actually, that's a really good idea. Yeah. It's all about positioning. Just then elect those off. <laughs> Just right out of the reach of Angelica. But, and she doesn't hit me anyway, so. Yeah. So can you get to there? Oh, yep, that's 30 feet. All right. And, so I'll walk over. And oh, even if on. Angelica was in there, you could protect her with your power yeah. anyway, so. Yep. So I'll walk over and say, okay, we're going to play hardball. Make sure you do non-lethal uh, magic damage. <laughs> Why? No, no. I don't, I'm just kidding. Fuck. Eh, some failures. Take it. It's half damage either way. Yeah. Oh, thankfully these aren't full rock sashes. I'm so happy. Oh, holy shit! Cool. Look at all that One damage. of them's unconscious. One of them Ooh. is in system shock. Oh, two of them are in system shock. One, two, three. Four. I live through the holy hell. Ice I might forms all around them and. They start to just shiver, and one of them drops to the ground. Can I say, uh, surrender now, and you can live through this. The last warning. If you use an intimidate on your next action. Okay, well, I'll decide. I'll see how the rest of this goes before. Uh... Okay. Yeah, now that no. you guys know it's not so bad. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I would still rather. I definitely want the main dude alive to question yeah. before we do this. I don't care about the other guys, so. Yeah. I'll say that was just me getting warmed up and kind of. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's funny. All right. Uh, I charge at your spell casting. Uh, but you're pretty far away. I just did the math. Electo did a total of 342 damage. <laughs> nice. So I throw two javelins at you. Jeez. 38 on the attack, but it adds up for, for hitting all those people. And you dodge. Electo. Having nice trained dodge. in, in Alquidemi's combat, javelin dodging was one of your main defensive skills. <laughs> Yeah. I got a minor in javelin dodging. <laughs> if you can dodge a javelin, you can dodge a ball. <laughs> you could dodge a firebolt or something. Gosh, the turn order is so filled up with red. Many of them.
I want to be a Roxasha as a character. They look sick. They're amazing. Yeah, yeah they're cool. No, 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 19. Why not but just be a Leonin, though, and not have the cursed whole magic yeah, demon? Yeah, they're lawful thing. evil, yeah. It is kind of like the evil version of Leonin, because Leonin are lawful good, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or lean that way. Yeah. By their culture or whatever, yeah. Oh, damn it. Leon and Paladin. Give, your, give yourself those six hit points back, please. I have to deal this damage instead. Way more damage. Yeah, he's got a 2d10 one a day additional power, plus it was the 1d10 slashing, not the 1d8 slashing. And now you have to make a saving throw. To avoid being knocked prone. I'm up in the air 10 feet, though. Oh, Ooh. yeah. No, yeah. so he's just going to cut the tendril around his boss so he's no longer uh, choked. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's a fair compromise. Okay. So we'll oh, take, I mean, we'll legit, take the prone off of that. you. Yeah. We'll take the prone off of you prone and eight. the grappled off of him. Fair enough. Does the damage on the octopus arm go onto your arm? Yeah, I still take the damage. That's reasonable. It's attached to me. But mm -hmm. now now he'll be unable to be targeted because uh, he's 10 feet up. Mm -hmm. Well, not anymore. He just fell. <laughs> no, no. Oh, no, I did. That, that oh, was... Angelica. I thought you meant the rook, Sasha. Sorry. Yeah. No. Yeah. Robert. Okay, let me move here. Let me just check at the distances. I don't want to tell you how to play, but I like is kind of solo right now. You can help. <laughs> He's nowhere well, to help. I mean, I can't. I don't know if I can get there. Oh, yeah, you're far. Yeah, yeah, you can't get there. Let me just see where I can. The best thing we can do right now is kill him and let Electo slip out of there on his own. Sorry, my game just froze when I clicked on the uh, my token. Uh oh. Just give it a Come second. On. Yeah, it's true. I just got to be patient. Okay, let me zoom in anyways. Let me get a closer look. Oh my gosh. Hold on a sec. I got to see what happened here. My computer just was like inactive and it didn't like that move, I guess. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I should wait or if I should just close it and rejoin real quick. Uh, reload. Reload your uh, browser. Okay, hold on. Oh, this is such terrible timing, but I guess it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't my turn. Um, okay, how far away am I? Like 5, 10, 15, 20, 24, 30. Sorry, it did work, I, but my movement, if you can cancel that and I'll do a proper move. Thank you. Yep, no problem. I'm targeting, I'm targeting the wrong guy up there. Okay, so what does that say? Fifth, 35. 35 feet? Oh, do I not have enough? I better double check. I don't have enough. Okay, shit. In that case... I will go 30 feet there. And since I get three attacks, I'll use them all for a bow attack on um, 
that Rakshasa in front of Electo. All right, sorry about that, guys. Let me roll my attack here. Yeah, dude, no worries. It happens. Oh, fucking I miss. Oh, no, I hate you for that, though. Okay, second attack. Huh. Oh, it's going to be like that, right? Thank you. Oh, luckily I get three. Maybe this one will hit. Nope. That's garbage. Unfortunate, yeah. Sucks. That's how the dice be. I thought you already made your three attacks. You get a fourth attack? I get three for the Dread Ambusher, because it's my first round of combat. And then I get a bonus action, which I can use. Mm. Yeah, because I get the extra attack if I take the attack action in the first round of combat. Okay. But that's it. I only get it for this one round. So I got the dagger. I at least hit with some. Yeah. Hey. Fucking right. At least I got it. Okay. Using okay, your superior skills, you plunge your dagger through the neck of the Rakshasa attacking or charging at Electo. It had thrown a couple javelins at it. I don't know if I'd call that weak. Yeah, well, he was running at Electo. I, I shot all the arrows, and then that fucking threw the bow, threw one dagger, and he got him in the neck. Good save. I can throw my javelins. Not very well. Oh shit, they got one. Oh, nice. No, 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 nineteen. Oh, are they javelin him? Oh, yeah, that's why they're not on him. I see. Composing myself, I quickly use Dominate Person on Lady Angelica. Counterspell. Okay. Go ahead and cast that we have to figure out what level the spell is like four or five or three you attempt to cast a spell if the creature is casting a spell a third level or lower it has no effect if it's fourth level or higher make an ability check using your spell casting ability. The DC equals 10 plus the spell's level. Ugh. Aw, poopy. So that failed. That failed. Unfortunate. So is this a charm effect? Yes. Oh, wait, okay, wait, so wait. I, am, I have resistance to it. Okay. An advantage on my saving throw. Okay. 
And you get orange plus three? Yep, I was just going to say that. You get plus three to that. You're within 10 feet. Nope. 10 feet in the air. Yeah, I'm flying. Ah, shit. Dang it. So what do I have to do? So just... There you go, 15. Ah, uh, 18. Oh, shit. High save. The spellcaster. Order your people to stand down. How do I get advantage? Do you get some sort of pack tactics thing? I don't know. That would be the only thing that makes sense to me. No, and it shouldn't have automatically applied because I don't know. There's only one within five feet of Electo, so the other uh, one's actually. T does 12 hit you? Uh, if a 19, does a 19 hit you? Electo? Uh, yes, it does. Okay, so he would have hit either way. So, okay. Then we're good. And you're not knocked prone from the Rakshasa's hit. That's good. Don't forget, Electo, that you have the uh, bonus action shove. The telekinetic shove. Yeah. If you push them closer to me, it makes it easier for me to get at them. Oh, I knock the big arm to the ground. Wait, and nine? Oh, he rolled a nine. Oof. That is not good. Are you dodging? That's probably the light. Excuse me? I'm just moving through the shadows here. Uh, I have disadvantage on my attacks against you. All right, Arn, you are currently prone. Okay, so... Oh, no, I wasn't you... dodging. You shouldn't have got disadvantage. I thought you were just making story-wise that you missed. I didn't realize there. Dropped 14. Yeah, 14 would have hit. Yeah, but I can't know whether that was what was rolled or not. So yeah, usually the system knows what's up, right? So usually it does. So okay, so one second. Um... Oh, because I'm in system shock, I have disadvantage on all my attacks. Oh, good. That's great. Ah. What does Angelica have on her? It's a charm effect or a fear effect. Fear is charm, the right? Charm. Fear, okay. fear is a uh, mind affecting, not necessarily always charm. Give me one second, please, to read my uh, th Are you standing up from prone? So, one second. It says, starting at 10th level, you and, your fr you and friendly creatures within 10 feet of you can't be frightened. But she isn't frightened. She's charmed. She's not frightened, yeah. Okay, I see. Okay. And I'm... More than ten feet away because I'm ten up, oh, yeah. ten over. So I'm I can get right under you. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm twelve. I'm 
12 and a quarter feet away or something like that. I got like a two-foot vert. I could do it. Yeah. Well, you could move over five feet, and then that would... I'd have to redo my Pythagorean theorem, but it'd be about that. <laughs> um, just checking what I can do. For so they're going to continue to swarm us until they either kill us or we kill them. Yeah. So what Clearly, I'm gonna... the, the effort to fear these guys was pointless. It was a giant waste of time. Well, I'm going to try it anyway, because I'm stupid, so... Uh, no, my efforts to intimidate them was pointless. The role, all of it was worthless. So. Well, you did intimidate them. It just, no, it just didn't make no, them want to all it. kill us because they saw like it. Like it was pretty fucking scary. Yeah, but it didn't. It, it didn't. It gave us no benefit. It, it didn't affect you the guy. It, you got nothing. advantage against the guy because he was shooken on the first round. Yeah, from a, from their perspective, I totally, I, I could totally get it. I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to fear Angelica. Yeah, might as well. I'm. Yeah, you might as well. Right. Yeah. Because I want to get the guy too. Yep. Go for it. But stand up first. Yeah, I'm just trying to position myself. The fucking cone. Trying to figure out how to do it. I think it's from. A cone? So I'm gonna stand up. It. Yeah, it's a cone. Yeah. The the it's the yeah. fear spell, not not the. Um, I got you. Okay. Yeah, which is a little bit better. Uh, so I'm gonna move there, stand up, and move uh to the beneath this man here. Yeah. And I might as well go for. Hold on, taking prone off. All right. So that's four. Yeah, no matter what, it's only gonna be four. And me. I think you're getting and you. me. Yeah, I have to. So there I can yeah. get five if I uh, aim it there. Yeah, so. perfect. Do that. All right, cool. So the guy nine, let me take him. You, oh, that guy's unconscious. Never mind. Do you have, okay. So here we go. Rolling the fear spell. So you're, you're getting six, two, right? Well, six is... is uh, unconscious right now. Oh, yeah, you're right. So I'm going to repeat what I did uh, back at the manor in uh, Water Ran. I'm going to turn into this like celestial being that cannot be even be understood by man, by the human brain, and uh, attempt to cause uh, this fear uh, effect on them. Here we go. I got a good save, so... Yeah, I... Ooh, well, everybody I've... but Rock Sasha 4 failed. Yep. So yep. I'm going to turn into that being and then say, you underestimate our power. Stand down or everyone dies. And I'm going to put the effect on them. Here we go. And there they go. Nice. We do not want to murder everyone here, but we will to survive. I'm giving you the option. I'm giving you the option of mercy. You decide. I'm giving you the option of mercy. That's fucking stupid. Why did I say that? I'm showing you mercy. You decide. Yeah, That's what I'm going to say. Go. Yeah. Sure uh, brought no cards. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the action. I can't bonus action spiritual weapon, right? So turn. Because I already casted a spell. So good. I is feared. I'm feared and charmed. <laughs> so uh, let me post this in the chat. That way you guys too. Yeah, I'm a wind frightened creature must take the dash action and move away from you by the safest available route on each of its turns. All right. Even Angelica, she's like, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm just gonna fly. I imagine this way. <laughs> As you fly turn out of space ends. up there. Suddenly, the ground shakes, oh, and you feel a uh, All four of the hands open up, each revealing a different crystal that glows Whoa. with a magical power. Oh, damn. That's cool. What is going on? 
That map looks super cool. It is, yeah. Am I high? What's going on? I picked the wrong day to stop snorting glue. <laughs> <laughs> so, Angelica, you just have to move away from Arn, but it doesn't say that you can't do anything else, so... You just but, have to dash with your with your action and, and whatever. Mm -hmm. So you could like yeah. fly up or down or whatever. No, I'll, I'll take it as the most literal sense is I'm going to sprint from Arn 60 feet. So 10 feet up, straight out 60 feet. Okay. And do I get a chance to break the charm effect and I hopefully the fear so, effect, yes. I guess? Yes. Do I just end my turn and it should roll? Uh, no, I think think you're going to have to roll it. Just an advantage d20? Uh, yep. Oh my god. So no. Oh. I, this uh, well, well that is that is a wisdom save though. So what's your what's your bonus for that? Wisdom's a, it's a flat nothing. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, then yep. DM, before we get too far away from my turn, can I have moved at the end of my turn? I totally forgot to move. Uh, you had to stand up from prone, so you only have half your movement left. So I have 10 feet of movement left, right? Yeah. I want to go there. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay. Wait, no, because you already moved down below that guy, so... So that was five, so I have 30 feet. Five feet. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, you're good. And then I have 10 left, yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, yeah, that's my turn, though. Didn't accomplish fuck all. Not, but I'm still feared and still mind-controlled, so... Awesome. Okay, so I'm just going to let you know as well, now that I'm level 10, any creature that is frightened of me, uh, I don't... Instead of running, their movement speed is... Uh, <laughs> it turns to zero, and they're, like, completely afraid of me. They, like, grow when they're yeah, around so, me. So am I, am I then stuck where I was? Well, you weren't within 10 feet of me when I... Oh, okay, so... Casted it, yeah. so... So, okay, 10 feet of you is stuck. Got mm -hmm. it. So everybody else... Some of those guys are stuck there. I flew away, though. So I'm fine where I am. Yes. Got I, it. And I okay. can't post the thing, so we can... No, check no, it no, out. it's fine. I, I believe you. I'm just... Paladin oh, shit's pretty I'm crazy. I'm still uh, attacking you for some reason. Sorry. <laughs> So they so they're supposed to technically use their action for a wait, is this guy not afraid of me? Nope. Number four? Oh, okay. He's the one that can actually do stuff. Okay. Yep. No 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 no. Nineteen, you concentrate on your spell. <laughs> hey, you're not knock prone. Thankfully. Ooh, don't tease me with the 19. Electo. Just so hit him I again. have... You think just hit him again? Oh, yes. Okay. At least the ones in front of you. Yeah, kill those guys. Yeah, yeah blast the shit out of them. Yeah, this shore of power. Magic missile is good just to take a guy off the board. Well, I, I mean, I would say hit him all with the cone of cold again. Yeah. Uh, well, oh yeah, so, it won't kill the main guy because he has a bunch of health. Yeah, um, but it, and again, and a bunch of these guys, I mean, and then I would just get the fuck out of there. <laughs> Maybe not new movement or that hand, but... Well, I, I we need I, to keep the leader alive. I can't talk anyway, so sorry. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm not on your team. Okay, one second. <laughs> what is it, 60? Okay. Yeah, yeah. You move it, click one more down, and get everybody, I think, except for. Well, not that far. So if Electo goes up. One, I can move this to like up here, and then it can get all those people. And then you have, you can save me. Oh yeah, only me. 
So yep. that'll work. Yeah, that way we'll freeze the dude a little bit, and then maybe he'll take the the grace that I am offering him. Or maybe he'll lose concentration on me. Yeah, that too. Ah, oh, the regular rock Sasha passed. It's okay. As more of them freeze under your withering, frosty cone. So there's one still standing in front of Electo, right? Yeah, uh, two is still up, it looks like. Yes. Okay, hold on. Let me target. I am already targeting him. Okay, so let's move. 30 feet. And keep doing what I was doing. Uh, let me get my sheet there. Move this. Okay, so yeah, I have first attack. Come on. All right, and I'll just do regular damage here. Nice. Good, good. And how he's still standing, so. No, he's dying. I'm, he's dying. He did, he did, like, I could tell my blade is finished up, so I don't need to use my bonus action for that. Correct. All right, so I will just stay here, make sure Electo's okay. All right, number seven. All right, I know he's going for me. Let's see. No, 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 19. <sighs> Success. You're knocked prone. Dang it. I, I should get a freaking thing where I can't get knocked. I'm supposed to be sturdy. Yeah, but prone doesn't really matter since they've got advantage on you from all sides right now. Like, <laughs> it's not yeah, It's not a huge true. De deal right now. Yeah, that's true. It's irritation for movement, but it's not anything else. <sighs> Okay, so wait, this Rock Sasha that started its turn, uh, it takes half my Paladin's um, level in Psychic Damage on the start of its turn because it is feared by me. So that means it takes five Psychic Damage at the start of its turn. Okay, hold on, I have to make What the fuck, dude? That. That's the craziest... What kind of Paladin is this? Conquest Paladin? Conquest. I'm OP, yeah. Damn. What's it called? Uh, right here, uh... You yeah, the piss out of them. Yeah, so whenever there are any creature within ten feet of me is frightened, they take uh, half my psych my paladin level in psychic damage because uh, they're absolutely terrified by me and their movement is zero and they can't use their action to attack me because they have to use it to dash, but they cannot move, so they are dominated. They are zero speed. That in a vengeance paladin would be vicious. <laughs> yeah, so these people are literally on their knees pissing at my feet. Weird, weird, weird thing to have him do, but sure, it's your fantasy. It's fine. No, I like it. I asked them, why? How do you think I got so yellow? Aura of They're cats. It's not that strange. <laughs> so I'm just going to um, type it in like this.
I haven't been able to successfully use this fear effect like this before, so this is a good showing of it. Once you start actually reading your character, you realize that you can do some pretty cool stuff if you have your brain to it. <laughs> well, I spend way too much time playing with character makers, so. <laughs> but I hadn't come across that one before, so that's why I'm really impressed. All right, there you go. Uh, oh, you wait. said there you go. It, wait, it's not... Get over here under features. All right, there you go. Oh, I'm, I see. So I, I should go to actions. Yep. Uh, yep. And then you just target him. And features. Okay. Give me one second. I see. All right. So who is this man? Who started? Oh, Rock Sasha. Okay. So. One second. I have to figure this out. Let me clear all my targets. Yep. You just target him and then click the damage. Oh no, I forgot how to take off all the targets off him. You click on your token and click clear targets. <laughs> That's where you're the DM. Okay. Thank you. It's good for the future. I need that button. Thank you. Yeah. And as your turn ends, there's another shake in the ground. Boom, 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 boom. And the hands all close again. What the fuck is going on? There's some field magic going on. It's is Lady Angelica's fault. Well, it might be. Because he did not expect this whatsoever. Where the hell did she go anyways? I'm flying away because I'm terrified of arms. <laughs> That's a funny sentence. Flying away, leave me alone. Oh, Rakshasa number nine had to move away from you. Well, his speed is zero, so he uses his action to dash, oh. even though his speed is zero, so he's stuck in place. Oh, okay, so I'll just stand right there. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right, number three. He doesn't tell his dudes to stand down, like, he, even after I gave him the chance. I'm frightened. I'm using all of my turns to try to get away from you. But I can't, so I'm taking five psychic damage and screaming inside my head. True. Oh, Roxasha these, number these nine. These are just a bunch of cat guys when you guys, like, they, they are scared shitless of us. I'm going to do the five damage to number nine, just so you know, DM. Because he went and he's friend. Oh, okay. Number three attacks you. Yeah, they're hitting me. Oof, they're doing good damage to me, too. Lady Angelica, you're no longer frightened. Ah, oh, they broke my concentration. Jeez, how are they doing so much to me? There's a lot of them. And they got a bunch of hits. Yep. All right. You are very surrounded. Yeah. But, okay. All this is about to change. You just have to lay on hands and we'll be good to go. Totally. Totally. All right. Now I'm looking at my spells. Don't have any AOE damage on me. All right. I am going to first stand up from prone. Yes, first stand up from prone, because I am. And then I'm going to summon, um, oops, ignore what that is. Cancel that. Okay, there's a, thank you. I couldn't figure out how to get that. So I'm going to summon my um, spiritual weapon behind number seven here, uh, diagonal to me. 
That way I can get advantage and beat them at their own game. Thank you. Alrighty. And here I go. I said, you fools, you should have took the chance. And then I'm going to turn around and jab my sword as deep as I can into this dude's fucking abdomen. Uh, the slight smile on my face because I fucked up in the head. All right. Ooh, good thing I had advantage. <laughs> the, the angel in you hates these demons. <laughs> How come it said I had an automatic miss? It, did it give me disadvantage because I'm prone or something? You're not prone. Yeah, it didn't give you advantage either. Wait, and 29 should have hit. Are you not targeting anybody? Uh, no, you're no, targeting he's him. He's targeting. Yeah. It did yeah, It did roll the 18 and the 1, right? It's showing you. But it, and it combined them to 19 and then added 10 to it. Attack. Oh, what? Attack. Let me just try rerolling. You rolled 2d20. Mm, let me try again. Okay. I might have pressed the wrong button. Okay, there you no. go. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put, pump a level one smite into him just to show him that I'm serious. Hold it. One second. It's always annoying to apply this. Got it. So yeah, I jab it into him, and then the white um, heat coming off of the the sword just burns through his hide uh, and just sizzles into his abdomen, and it's cauterizing the wound that it is fucking making at the same time. It's painful, and I'm gonna turn like I'm gonna twist the sword and get. And hits. And he's dead. And the wolf is gonna uh, position itself here. And it's gonna take a bite at Rakshasha number seven. And the wolf is uh, kind of stalking it, slowly moving up to it. Uh, like it's a weak fucking gazelle and it's gonna bite its neck. Sorry, guys, I'm having to figure out my UI. Okay. That hits. Nice. Hey, nice. Okay. So I look at the Roxashian leader and I say, you should have took the chance. And then I just do a spin and I kill this dude and uh, one stab, I, I jab it into him and then I twist it and intestines fall out. And then the wolf just pounces on this Roxashian and bites its neck, its throat out. And then I look at the the leader and I say, "You still, you you can still fix this." And then I, <laughs> in my turn, gosh, we're evil. Why are we doing this? All They're right. evil. <laughs> As your we're, turn, we're just better at it. Yeah. <laughs> As your turn ends, there's another violent shake, and again the the hands open, Ooh. but this time. The center opens to some sort of void and a bolt comes out and unleashes unleashes I could cast create food and water, make a bunch of fish, and they'll just fucking go crazy yeah. for it. <laughs> or, or can we create a pile of sand? Maybe that's what they need. <laughs> They're just angry. <laughs> they, haven't, they haven't found a goop in years. No one's cleaned their litter box in forever. <laughs> oh, there it is. Unleashes 
Oh no! A blue slot. Oh, good thing he's right in front of it. Fuck him up. Lady Angelica. <laughs> so I am still under mind control, correct? Uh, yeah. Or did that break? Or did that break when that guy got hit with everything? No. Nope. I. He, it might have broke when he had, he got fear. Does fear break concentration? Nope. He didn't hmm. get feared. He passed, didn't he? No, he didn't pass. I don't know. No, he, he uh, did fail. He he got feared, but it didn't break his concentration. And the getting hit by the half damage didn't do anything either? No, that would have automatically removed it. Okay. Um. So... <laughs> Bless you. I sort of feel like I would identify the blue slot as the biggest threat because it's the first sort of thing I see. Is that reasonable? Yes. Okay, so... Oh, wait. It doesn't have it on him, but it still has it on you. I'm going to just take it off of you. You're not controlled. Oh. Yeah, because I think okay. being feared, something it said like he was incapacitated on my sheet and i think in being incapacitated means that you lose oh, concentration you're not incapacitated but yeah oh yeah i don't know i must have misread some sorry because it wasn't on him anymore i'm just gonna take it off of you okay sweet <laughs> okay so i can get all of those guys and not hit arn yeah, we tried playing nice. Yep. Uh, I am going to do my favorite level 5 spell. Synaptic Static. <laughs> e. Ooh, that guy's perfect. We should try to we should try to uh, non-lethal the leader. Yeah. Assuming the slot doesn't just fucking do it anyway. Oh yeah, so. that's true. He might eat him. Yeah. Uh, and I'm gonna fly up another ten feet or so just to get a little yeah. extra space. So about twenty feet up. Twenty. Yeah. Total. Okay. Um, Step over the pile of cat corpses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get on my carpet um, and fly 20 so, feet, but I'm also going to go a little bit up in the air. Just to help you out a little bit, the only people that are alive are the guy right next to me, the slod, and the leader. Those are the last three alive. Okay. Would you say that the blue squad is about 20 feet away from Rakshasa 3? Uh, yeah. I'm going to not target the leader. I'm going to target the squad, and I'm going to target this last dude. And I'm going to try vitriolic fear. So I guess that would mean me saving Arn and the leader with my spell leading. Blue 
Yep. The blue slide. Hmm. You did just cast a spell at me. But there is this guy right here. Is it smart though, or is it just, you know what I mean? A beast, right? Um, no, they they have Yeah, they can they're they can make chit chat in other games. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, I forgot one was a leader. Yeah, one kind of they're not orchestrated some super leader. smart, but mm -hmm. I think the green ones are the smartest ones. Right? Yeah, I mean blue slots aren't super smart. Once you get into the higher grade slots, they can. What you wanted to get is the sunroof slot. That's the fancy <laughs> one. <laughs> Some white walls on that slot. You'll love it. Huh. Drive it for years. <laughs> Power windows. Yeah, once you get up to those higher tier slots, <laughs> can't go back. <laughs> ah. So he rolled a zero on that attack. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, he's missing him <laughs> over and over. No, 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 19. Okay, I'm going to move up there, and since I am still... Uh, I'm going to just, yeah, I'm going to use the bow, because if I have to, I want to position so that I'm on the opposite side of Arn, if we have to. Yep. Get close to cool. it. So let me just use the bow again. Oh, I got a target. A slad. Hold on. Oh my god. Alright. Second attack. When we get back to our realm of existence, we're going to have to find you a better bow in town. Yeah, totally. we got to buy it's you a just, plus no, one. No, I've been getting really... Two. It's been really bad. Look. Like, it's been really bad. It hasn't been close. It's either been hit or really bad, so... Well, but it just, it just happens. Period. We're level it's... 10 and you have a regular bow. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, so that hit. Uh, let's put the effect on for my combat superiority here. Save for the creature. Where is it? I can't. Hold on. Okay, good. And he failed to save. So I will add that to the slot. Boom. And then it's damage. Where's that arrow? There it is. Well, that's as good as I could hope for. Hey, there you it, go. Yeah. It, it is frightened of me. Nice. Oh, does that part of the effect put it put it on there if it is? It is. It yeah, got it, onto him. Okay. Yep. It's on there. Okay, cool. So that's it. Oh, yeah, uh, I see that. My... Yeah. Oh, no. Some of these guys keep succeeding. It's not good. Mm. But they'll come back with one. So Yeah. A heavy wind I'm going them. to use fly and fly up out of the blue slots reach, which will earn me one attack of opportunity. Oh no. <laughs> he might die on the way up. I hope, it, I hope it fucking eats him. Just pulls him down and shoves him in his mouth. Get well, he would be unconscious, and which is good because I can heal him when the battle ends. Get a ends. 20 DM. Get a 20. Eat that. Oh, oh yeah, we don't do non-lethal anyway because they go unconscious. We yeah. stab him. Well, and the slide's not going to so end the motor. fly tools. up and away. Okay. He flies up and away? Yep. How high up is he? 
I'm approximately 20 feet up. Okay. Oh, Arn, if you if you have your wolf and it's not doing anything, have it just attacking the guys that are making death saves. Yeah, that's true. At least um, that way you neutralize them. No, totally. Um, let me think on how to deal with the flying man because I can bonus action fly. I would. I mean, you don't have to get him. I well, now get that he, him too. Yeah, now that he's away from the slot, I'm less focusing him because he can't run away anywhere. You know what I mean? He's there's the. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I think I'm free to advance on. The slot man here. Um, get rid of it. So I'm going to position the wolf here. The wolf is going to go in to distract the slot. It's going to like nip at its knees. I run uh, behind it. It's going to distract the slot for me. 25. 30. I should be able to go here. Nice. Great. Control of the field, Arn. Thanks, Arn. All right. Little slot. All right. And I'm going to do what I do best. I'm going to stab shit. <clears throat> nice. That's a good one. We'll go ahead and do a level one. Uh, Smitty Smite up in there. And. Nice. 21. And then I'm going to swing again with the same. Motion. I'm gonna kind of bring it back. Give him another slice in the gut. Sweet. That's more. And then the wolf gets to get a turn because he likes to chew on stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, that should have been with advantage. I'm just gonna roll the attack again. The other one is Sunni. This one is well. This one is um, uh, Muna. Muna? Yeah. Sunni's the male. This is Muna, another aspect of my imagination. So it did its damage. I did my damage. Action, bonus action. Movement. Okay, that is my turn. At the end of this turn... There's another whoom, 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 whoom. And the hands close again. Oh no. Is there going to be a slot every single time? It... Every two, potentially. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Oh, the screen went bar black. We done fucked up now. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Is it supposed to go black? Did everybody's screen go black? Yeah. Oh, you still can't see it? Oh, hold on. There you go. There you go. Um, and like the hands or gem things haven't had any effect on me specifically. Right. Okay. Um, I'm going to fly to here. And I'm going to whip that guy with my arm in an attempt to knock him unconscious and send him to the ground and hope he survives the fall. He will. He'll take one death, death fail, but... Hey. hey. Oh. Dang, just barely. Vulnerable. He's vulnerable to psychic? Who knew? Um, damn it, that sucks. <sighs> I'll yell, uh, uh, surrender now or I will feed you to the slod. <laughs> He's never going to fucking surrender this guy. What no, probably asshole. not. <laughs> what an asshole. He's even, even after we killed everybody. He's going to try to fight. Okay. Um, I'm going to fly like 20 more feet up in the air just so that I'm well and truly off the ground. And then I am going to cast Shatter. 
Well, no, maybe I'm not going to catch cheddar. You can come out of Oregon, maybe. I didn't have that. I am afraid of casting Shatter on the slide when he's on top of whatever that is. <laughs> yes. Yeah, good foresight. So I. I'm not going to focus on the rock star, so I'm going to focus on the flood. So I'm going to cast Witch Bulls at the flood. Ooh, nice. Oh. No, 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 19. And I get durable magic now. Spell safe. Okay. One of the Rakshasas gets back up. The blue <laughs> slot attacks Arn. What a dickhead. No, because it's frightened and, I, and it can see me, it has disadvantage on ability check and attack rolls because I'm within line of sight and I just shot an arrow up its ass. Ooh, sweet. It has so, disadvantage then. Yeah, it has disadvantage. Is it just against you or uh, on everybody? It says if I'm within, it says it has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of its fear is within line of sight. Yep. And I clearly just shot that arrow up its ass. So. Sweet. And it has the synaptic static. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. Thank you. That helps a lot. Because these things hurt. Yes. <laughs> wow. Dude, wow. All right. So let's move up here. God. Will I get advantage if I move five over? Next. Nice. From the from the spiritual weapon? No. All right, so I'll cancel, cancel that movement. I'll just stay there where I am. Can you stand? Because he can stand on top of dead bodies, right? Oh, it's too late. Oh, you hit anyway. So And saving that one for the slot. <laughs> Wait to find the effect here. Oh, doesn't your sword do all sorts of funky shit to these things too? Only if I get a crit. Oh, damn. Yeah. But I have more attacks. I just have to find the effect for favorite foe quickly. Where is it? Favorite enemy. There it is. No, that's not it. Sorry, I got a lot of abilities here. <laughs> Same, uh, dude. I feel it. Where's the favorite? Oh, it's because it's further down? Is that it? No. Okay, fuck it. I'm going to use Hunter's Mark. That's easier. It's casting a spell slot. Boom. There we go. And now I can roll the damage. All right, second attack. Redam. Yep. Okay, and I use the spell for the bonus action, but I might as well go all in because we got to get the fuck out of here. I'm going to use action surge so I get two more attacks with the black blade. Come on. No shit, that sucked. Oh, it hit. Ah. And oh, sorry, and my last attack. I just was Oh fuck, I really wanted that one. Shit. Oh, yeah, you could have killed him, dang. I tried. 
Oh, one of the Rakshasas is just straight up dead. The life peters out of him. The flying one says, You're as trapped here as I am. We're all going to die here thanks to you. Not if we we can work together to get out of here. You know that is true. I don't You're even have the... any good attack spells. You're ruining the illusion that I'm in control of this place, dum dum. <laughs> I'm not flying close enough to that thing to claw it, so I'm gonna fly over here. Oh, I, I thought we were. Do I get an opportunity attack? I wasn't close enough to you. I'm ten feet with the whip. Oh. Uh, then I'm still within ten feet, so. Oh. Shit, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta bring out the parabola again. Yeah. Uh, anyway. My sexton. <laughs> uh, let's see. Blue slot. Almost dead. Um, so he said we're stuck in here. So I forgot we were trying to manipulate him to think that you did this. That's all right. Let's, let's. Yeah, we're going to kill the slot. Yeah. Thing and get off that, kill this thing and get off that pad before the hands open. Up again. Oh yeah, totally. Yep, yep. I'm afraid of getting dragged in or something. Okay. Yeah. I am going to get targeted. Here we go. So the wolf is going to try to kill it. It might be able to do enough damage. Bonus action to attack. Hey. Yeah, the wolf bites its fucking butthole when it dies. And I'm going to. Six is alive over there, so you can move over there and pop that one. Oh, yeah. Yep, he's up. You're right. Good call. Ain't no lucky day. And I'm going to go over to the Rock Sasha number six, and I put a foot on its chest because it's prone, right? Yes. And then it's like barely breathing, and I put a sword to its neck, and I say, you surrender? Demon, what does it say dude. to me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> They are demons. He doesn't surrender. I, I keep forgetting that these aren't people. These aren't dudes. Yeah. Oh, I don't get advantage. Let me take that off. He's prone. You get advantage. Yeah, you do. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dang it. Yep. Put it back on. That's fine. And you targeted the wrong thing. Yeah, that's oh, fuck. <laughs> Does a twenty-eight hit? Can we still do eleven to him? Uh, well, a twenty-eight hits, but I can't do eleven damage to him. Once it's at zero, you have to just deal the damage in order to have it do the thing. Yeah. Okay, so it's re dead. The damage. Just it's target not, him and re-roll the damage. It's not dead. Well, it's dying now. Uh, yeah, it was dying. Yeah. All right. Uh. <laughs> I guess I squeeze the life out of it again. <laughs> then I, I guess I have my turn here. As your turn ends, there's another rumble, and the hands clasp open, and another blue slide comes fuck. out. <laughs> what the fuck? We gotta break the hands. But I'm afraid if we break the hands, we won't be able to get out. <laughs> Damn it, I don't want to have to break the hands. We have Shatter. Shatter could easily break those. They're, you know, made of stone. Oh, and one of them got up. Are you kidding me? This is horrible. Uh, so I'm going to... I guess I'm going to try and knock him down again. Again, trying to knock him unconscious so he can just fall to the ground, hopefully. Hey. So I would prefer he just be unconscious for now. Okay. Yeah. Non lethal damage. Yep. And. I'm going to look around the room. Do I, can I 
like do an arcana check or something as a bonus action to see if I can understand what's going on. Just grab the yeah. book. Or yeah. Um I have the book. Did I take the book from him? Or oh, does yeah. he have the book? No, you have the yeah. yeah, you did at the beginning, yeah. Okay. Um so I will I'll do the arcana check now to try and understand what the room is, and then I will Next turn, look at the Next book. Turn, yeah, do the book, since that seems more action-y. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> Dig it. Dude. Oh, can I use an inspiration? Too late. Nope, I can't. Damn it, David. Next round, I'll use an inspiration and not be as stupid. <laughs> okay. So, I was initially avoiding Shadow, but now I kind of think, well, if I don't break it, more slots are just going to keep coming out, and I don't prefer that. So I am yeah, going to try to share. And the hands are open now, so it's your best chance. I'm going to go for the pedestal for now. Because I don't, because the, the hands are very obviously magical, and I'm afraid of what would happen if I break them when they're, like, doing their magic thing. So I'm going to try breaking the pedestal. And the flood. That stinks. They both rolled a 20. That's not cool. But I do 26 damage, and um, I don't know what happens, but maybe something happens. Yeah. Uh, the eyes blink violently, and... Uh, the hands erupt with magical energy, crackling like bolts of energy all across the battlefield. Hmm, that seems not Oh, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Okay, well, one of them's down, so... Okay. Let's see. I have... Where is it? Okay, I'm going to attack it. Is there three dice? Oh, you're still attacking blue slot number one, too. Okay, so did I miss? Yeah, I missed it. All right, second attack. Oh, there we go. Ooh. There we go. Now, don't mil murder me by accident later. No, so I have. Hold on. Oh, shit. Okay, I had to actually look for you there for a second. And use my combat superiority here. Let's make a save for the slot. Fuck! No, 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 19. Fuck, I needed that. Okay, so I roll damage. Okay. Yeah. Do damage here. Why is it so much damage? Oh, I got a crit. I forgot. Yeah. Woof. Nice shot. Did you not target him? Yeah, it should have. Nope. <laughs> Sorry, do you want me to re-roll? You have to click on critical.
it won't roll like the dice. I have to put all the effects back on, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. If they expired. Yeah, any of the ones that expired. Effect. Okay, wait. There shouldn't be two there. Fucking dice. I, I got it. One second. The one that says, uh, I clicked one by accident. There, there you go. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so it should be 1d6, then 1d8. So let me find the d8. Effect. And I rolled. You forgot to put critical on it. Crit. Oh, sorry, guys. I, where's the button for the crit? It's in the plus minus in the upper right. Oh, that little target thing? No, okay. Plus slash minus above library. There we go. I got it now, right? It's on there. Well, I, that's one thing I can't see. I did, it didn't add all the effects this time. You s still didn't cr click critical either. Well, it's... it's What? Up on the top right, the plus slash minus that says modifiers when you hover over it, there's a thing called critical under damage that you have to click. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is. There you go. Okay, and since when I failed the con save, what happened? It just did more damage? Nope. It infected you. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm going to just move. I'll let it take the opportunity to attack that it gets. Okay. It hits you with its claw. The Rakshasa got up and tries to attack you. Hold on, I can attack him when he moves within my uh, range. With my reaction. Okay. So let me target him. You knock yeah, him out as he comes close. It costs a reaction, but nobody comes back from the dead, buddy. That's not the way it works. You're done. All right. Only one up is the number two, right? Yep. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to play strategical. Wolf's going to go there to start off the, t the turn. I'm going to go here with my movement. And then here we go. I'm going to attack number two. Okay. Here he goes. First attack. Oh, that's yeah, not good. Okay. Gonna do it again. Oh, a 20. <laughs> uh, oh, you poor thing. All right. 
Make right, here we go. Suffer. Putting in a level two smite. Yeah, this thing is not gonna like this. <laughs> if if it kills it, uh, it explodes into like its guts go everywhere. Okay, here we go. <laughs> what is the table thing? We'll see. Uh, no reactions and disadvantage on attacks. Yeah, good. Ooh, that's good. So nice. That one got hit with a big blast of white energy, and I'm the wolf is going to attack blue slide number one uh, to kill it or try to kill it. It's gonna try to finish it off that way it doesn't fucking get up. That would be very bad. Here we go. Oh, big gravestone. Okay. Yeah, the wolf indeed rips the slod's throat wide open. All right, good. That's one threat down. Uh, action, bonus action to do that. Slot is there. Okay. I think now that it's my turn. These crystals, well, we have, it feels like another two turns before another slot comes, at least. Yep. Yep. Theoretically. Um, theoretically. They should um, close again and then open again. So when they open is when we have to deal with this again. Yeah, just kill yeah. them as quick as we can so we can end the combat and try to. Well, I'm going to I'm going to work on it now. All right. When it gets to my turn, assuming we'll see what happens, but All right, and my turn. Uh, that's pretty much all, all right. I can do here. As your turn ends, rumble 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 as the uh uh hands once again close. Uh, and uh it is Angelica's turn. So, I will open the book and look at it. Um, trying to figure out what to do to get out of this space or if there's any ideas. And then uh, if that does that do, or then I will do, I try an arcana check again now that I've actually know what the fuck I'm doing maybe get some help with it. <laughs> or an advantage or something, I don't know. Well, I mean, this is in the span of six seconds. Oh, fair enough. Okay. Um, don't forget about your inspiration too. Yeah, I'll use an inspiration to do an arcana check this time. So I can maybe actually be useful. Yeah. yeah. Jeez. Oops, sorry. Is that tell me anything useful here? Uh yeah, so what you can tell is that the crystals are activating some kind of portal in the center that is summoning these slods and that at the very least you need to disable them in order to stop that from happening. Okay. Um, Shout that out to us, yeah. Yeah, I'll send that message. And the that check was my action for the turn, correct? Yes. Okay. You can still move. Uh, yeah, or I'm trying to think if I have any bonus action that could be helpful. Maybe move um, towards the hand, that way we can get to work on... Uh, yep, that, that's, that's my plan. Um, I'm just trying to think if I have a bonus action spell that could be helpful. And I don't think I do, so... No. Um, I'm going to use Earth and Grasp, and then when it opens, I'm going to have it high five. Would that be <laughs> cool? Yeah. Um... I'm going to fly over here and get ready to try and do something when it opens up again. Okay. I so oops. Psychically, I, I will let you know that the hands, maybe it's worth trying to destroy them when they're closed since the magic isn't flowing right now. Absolutely. Ooh, shatter one, yeah? Yeah, so I'm going to cast a shatter spell on the lower left hand. Uh, maybe do it on the top right, because then you're oh. everyone's far away from that. That's the farthest one we're away mm -hmm. from. Okay, fair enough. I will fly. Mm. Anywhere, really. The world is your oyster. Just go up, even. I'm going to fly to be kind of close to Orn. Oh, 
How high are you? 20 feet up. Okay. Then I am going to cast Shatter at the upper right hand. Okay. So just roll your damage without targeting anything. There you go, 18. All right. As you cast Shatter on the hand, it kind of like loses two of its fingers and the gem inside is broken and no longer glowing. That's perfect. I might have weakened it a little bit. Maybe it takes longer to up now. Who knows? I am going to attack Arn. That's fine. I understand. I am immune to disease, luckily. Dang it. They keep hitting me. No, 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 19. Stop. Ooh, I rolled doubles. I get to roll again. <laughs> no, no. That's not how it works. <laughs> I feel like this thing gained... Did this thing gain health? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what? It, they do every round. Unless oh, there's something you have to do. Realize that. Is it fire? Who knows? No, it's not fire. It's not a troll. There's something else. I don't remember, though. Well, Arn, I'm going to need you to cure me after yeah. on your turn, because I got this fucking slot under my skin. It feels yeah. gross. I don't like yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I was trying to kill the thing before I got to you. It's, we're getting a few turns in now, so I'm kind of afraid, too. We need to fucking heal up, what? too. There you go. What did Robert's crit effect last turn do to it? Uh, he got well, a one, so my I don't blade, think anything. Oh. My blade drank it, but yeah, I just yeah, okay. damage. That's something the DM will have to figure out with me later. Hmm. Did I did that roll damage? Oh, uh, I feel like it rolled off the table, or maybe give it yep. a second. I... That rolled off the table. Yeah, there, there it goes. Thank Hooray! You. Maximum damage, but that's all I can do. Cause oh, hey, maximum, yeah. I don't have a, I don't have a bonus action that I can used to attack. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Blue slot, numero dos. I'm going to go for it again. The wolf is going to try to kill it. Perhaps it will. Let's see. Please roll eight. Seven's fine. Oh, I didn't even target it. What am I doing? Dang it. Should I re-roll my attack, or should I just no, do the damage? No, the attack hits. Okay. Ah, significantly less. Okay. Uh, it's my turn, though. I was trying to save my actions to help. Oh, fuck, but I have to help. Mm. Maybe Angelica can finish it. Angelica. I'm sure of it. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta help Robert. So uh, I'm gonna go over to Robert, and um, even though we're fighting the fucking slot right in front of us, while I have a second, I'm gonna put my hand over him, over his uh, wound, and I'm gonna uh, expel five points of lay on hands in order to uh, cure a disease that he has. Your hand, where the claw went into your arm, spits out a small blue egg. Oh, if I turn into a slot, I'm going to keep playing the character. I'll buy a nice tuxedo. <laughs> That'll be funny. 
You're going to be one of them fancy high-level slods. <laughs> <laughs> I think slod counts as a race. I'll be able to keep my my character sheet. Um, just change my race your, to blue your, slot. Your hat, your hat will be adorable. It'll be tiny. Yeah. It'll it's a giant head. <laughs> Big frog head. So, yeah, do you squash the egg on the ground? Uh, um. Yes. Yeah, I'll stomp on it. I can yeah. I can summon these things if we need one later, but thank you for giving me the option though. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely squish it. Alright. And action, bonus action with the dog. That will be my turn. As the hands rumble and open, there's Please. three uh crystals that activate but the one broken one disrupts the beam and now instead of summoning a blue slot it summons one nasty black death slot and that is where we draw to a close for this session of dragon oh god starfall i want to thank you guys for playing I want to thank anyone who's watching. And as always, everyone, good gaming. On the bright side, we level up in the next session. <laughs>